Hi, I'm Savon, one of the counselors here at a New Day Counseling Center, and I'm making this video as a way of introducing myself so you can get to know me a little bit and the types of counseling that I do and the types of issues that I've helped folks with uh, to help you make a decision whether or not you'd like to work with me um, and uh, to share a little bit about uh, the counseling process, especially if you haven't done counseling before. Uh, so a little bit about me. Uh, I live here in Port or Portland, just moved out to Gresham and have been a counselor for 15 years, uh, including internship. I've worked with folks for 17 years. The other half of the week, I'm a health coach uh, with uh, Kaiser. So uh, as a coach, I help folks with healthy eating and health, physical activity, stress management, healthy sleep, uh, healthy habits. And so I help folks uh, stay motivated, uh, set goals and uh, support and provide accountability for changes that they wanna make in their life. And so it's the same thing with counseling. Uh, I help folks with wherever they're at, figure out what's next. Um, are they heading in the direction they want? Uh, and so we explore where they, th they're at and where they wanna be. Uh, whether that's with career or relationships or uh, identity, finding purpose and, and mission in life. And sometimes the past and what you've been through can really hold you back and af affect you. Um, and um, you can struggle emotionally from what you've been through. So uh, that's what I've helped uh, folks for the past 15 years uh, with individuals and couples. And uh, so for individual counseling, I have a lot of experience in helping with people who struggle in, in, uh, with a variety of uh, emotional uh, disorders, but mainly anxiety, depression, and insomnia or sleep disorders. Uh, when I was going through school, I was a sleep uh, technician and research assistant. So have talked with hundreds of people uh, over the years, used to teach groups um, uh, about insomnia or and imp improve, improving their sleep. Uh, so a lot of folks that struggle with overthinking, perfectionism, procrastination, can, and anxiety can, or PTSD and trauma can also struggle with sleep. So have worked with lots of folks with, with anxiety and chronic pain uh, over the years. Uh, with uh, these these mood disorders, cognitive behavioral therapy is kind of the main thing I work with. Uh, cognitive behavioral therapy explores the relationship between how you think and how you feel, and then also how your emotions and how, how you think and how you see yourself and others affects your decisions and your behavior, and vice versa. Sometimes your health habits can be unhealthy, um, and that can be habits personally, but also habits in relationships. So relational patterns and habits can also affect you emotionally. Um, uh, so uh, counseling helps you explore uh, that. It helps uh, you um, explore uh, your, your uh, daily rhythms, your weekly rhythms and, uh, and, and, and relationships. The, Besides cognitive behavioral therapy, I also work with folks uh, with narrative therapy. So narrative therapy is exploring your story. And uh, it can be really powerful in healing, especially if you've gone through hard things growing up and, or in your past. And some, sometimes folks can sh struggle early on uh, with family of origin and um, need to work through and process and heal from it. Some folks, they had a great upbringing, uh, great family, great family of origin, uh, but and they're going through life, they're, they're fine, but then something happens that throws them off, gets them off track in life. And uh, so uh, counseling helps process and work through that. And uh, it besides exploring the past, uh, Counseling can help with kind of where you're at uh, in the present, um, how you're doing in the here and now, 
day to day, whether that's with work or individually, personally, or in relationships. Uh, so uh, folks that struggle with uh, perfectionism, folks that struggle with procrastination, feeling overwhelmed, overthinking things, uh, isolation, uh, those, those types of things. I've worked with folks uh, that struggle with that chronic pain. Um, and uh, people who uh, that uh, like to learn, like to write, like to create, like to read, uh, people who like personality tests and uh, uh, enjoy uh, mindful, uh, being self-aware or introspective, I do good work with. Um, some some folks, uh, I, I I I explain it this way. I I I work with folks who overthink things too much and are in their head too much, and I help them kind of move out of their heads and into the world and, and in relationship with others. So to open up and connect and uh, be courageous and brave to let people in more to get uh, uh, open up and let people see who the, their, their true self, their real self. Um, so that's on one side of things. And then some folks that I work with, especially in, in relationships and in couples counseling, that it's not that they overthink things too much. They don't really, they're not really self-aware. They're not really aware of their emotions. They have trouble naming uh, their emotions or knowing how they feel or what they want. Um, and so counseling can help with slowing down, making space to discover and grow um, and understand yourself and be more comfortable in your own skin like and more at ease with yourself. So I think I mentioned uh, imp imposter syndrome. Some folks, uh, whether it's perfectionism or imposter syndrome, they struggle with wondering, are they doing enough? Are they good enough? Uh, in life, in work, in school, in relationships, they struggle not is what they're doing enough or are they heading in the right direction in life, but are they enough as a person? Are they good enough? Are they lovable? And, um, you know, if you've experienced pain, if you've experienced disappointment or loss or rejection, um, it, it can, it can be really tough if you haven't had good friends, if you haven't um, had your emotional needs met when you're growing up, uh, you can you can struggle emotionally. You can struggle with your your sense of worth, um, and uh, it, yeah, it, you can struggle with loneliness or disconnection from people. And so that ties into uh, the work that I do with couples. Uh, I love working with couples. Um, uh, I work with fo folks who are dating, who are engaged or, or thinking about getting engaged, folks that are engaged in planning to get married, and uh, couples who are married, uh, you know, 30 plus, uh, you know, newlyweds to 30 plus years. And one of my favorite things to, to help couples do is to draw close, uh, to feel connected to uh, to be friends again, or if they're pretty good roommates and friends, to actually uh, grow deeper in, uh, in love. Um, and uh, a, a lot of couples that I work with, they get off to a good start, um, but the busyness of life or stress or conflict or, um, or disappointments and uh, betrayal and hurt can enter in conflict and stress can enter in and so some couples they just kind of slowly drift apart um or some couples uh something happens that throws them off the relationship off and they have to find their way back to each other and um so i help folks you know find their person and fall in love and i help folks fall back in love and that's one of my favorite things uh, uh, to, to help uh, couples do. So how do I do that? Um, I've gotten training in the Gottman uh, uh, method of marriage counseling. 
And uh, I found the, the Gottman's very practical, very helpful um, yeah. uh, with uh, different tools and techniques and resources to improve communication and connection and resolve conflict in a healthy way. Um, I also have training in emotionally focused therapy. And um, I, I really find emotionally focused therapy really powerful um, to go uh, deeper than just tools and techniques for uh, uh, healthy communication, but really connecting on a heart to heart level. Uh, it addresses the effect of the past a little more deeply than the Gottman method, I find. And it, because it's based on attachment theory. And uh, so it, uh, attachment theory uh, describes uh, different types of uh, attachment styles. Uh, the, and what we go through as in our family of origin can really affect the way we react to uh, emotions, the way we respond to each other, and how comfortable we feel with being vulnerable with each other and connected uh, in, in relationship. And so uh, that, that, that's a, a, us, a, a really uh, helpful and powerful tool uh, to, to grow in relationship, but also to, to heal, especially if you've been through hard things uh, individually growing up or a, in your own story uh, uh, as a couple. Uh, let's see, anything else? Um, with uh, narrative therapy, I don't think I mentioned uh, that, besides cognitive behavioral therapy, uh, enjoy using a narrative framework for therapy, for counseling. And uh, narrative, therapy is uh, essentially looking at your story, uh, looking at what you've been through um, and the different chapters of your life. And uh, if you've uh, gone through hard things, it's uh, exploring, uh, uh, you know, how those hard things have shaped you, how it's affected uh, how you feel about yourself, how you you trust or don't trust uh, other people. Um, it it explores uh, your your any limiting beliefs, any beliefs that hold you back, um, and the it helps you explore where you're at and your dreams and hopes and goals for life, and um, you know essentially like what would be a happy ending, what would be a good life. Uh, what would be a, a fulfilling, satisfying uh, life, uh, life of significance and, and, and purpose and intention and direction. So um, uh, that, that's kind of the framework uh, for uh, uh, individuals and, and also couples. Um, uh, so uh, I've written, uh, oh, not written. I have a, a website where you can learn more about me. I write um, and my ideas uh, about counseling. Uh, I write about mental health issues and parenting and, and marriage. Um, I haven't written as much lately because in the past year, I started a podcast on mental health and coaching and counseling uh, and, and courage. Uh, so in the, the description of this website, you'll be able to see links to the, web, the blog and to the podcast. And so even though uh, the podcast isn't counseling, you'll be able to see how I interact with folks, uh, the guests that I've had uh, on the show this past year. And we have uh, have had several counselors, so we've talked about parenting and trauma and, and mental health uh, on that, um, on, that uh, on the video, uh, YouTube videos, or you can listen to episodes uh, on there. So I hope uh, this video has been helpful. And if uh, there's also on the website, uh, my website, you can also sign up to receive a short uh, workbook or it's slash journal called uh, Bridging the Gap Between Where You Are and Where You Want to Be. And so it uh, has uh, some information about the different uh, things that can hold you back from making the changes that you want. And it helps you explore kind of what, what what's next? What's the next best step? Who do you need to connect with? Um, and what are some of the decisions that you need 
uh, to make uh, to uh, to achieve, achieve your your goals and and uh, make the changes uh, that that you want to make. Um, let's see. Oh, um, if you've watched this so far and you're thinking, oh, I'm not sure if Savon's the the best fit for me. Um, I'll include a link to other Christian uh, counselors, other counselors in the um, in Oregon and Washington that I refer to, um, and um, I, uh, you can, uh, check out their websites, their information and, and see if, uh, they might be a better fit for you. If you have any questions about working with me, feel free to contact the office, uh, and you can email the office or, um, or call and, and talk to Laura Lee or, or, or Debbie in the office. W would love to have a chance to, to hear your story and, and to work with you and help you with whatever your you're wrestling with whatever you're you're dealing with and uh uh yeah hope you'll find the help that you're wanting and needing